In The Case of the Black-Eyed Blonde, Earl Stanley Gardner crafts a complex legal thriller that highlights the sharp wit and keen investigative skills of his famous defense attorney, Perry Mason. The novel unfolds with a mysterious blonde woman, Eva Martell, seeking Mason's help in retrieving a love letter that she claims was written in a moment of indiscretion. She fears this letter could ruin her engagement if it falls into the wrong hands. Mason's instinct tells him there's more to the story, and as he digs deeper, he uncovers a web of deceit, blackmail, and murder. The novel is a classic example of Gardner's ability to create intricate plots that keep readers on edge. The character of Perry Mason is as resourceful and astute as ever, navigating through a tangle of lies and half-truths to arrive at the truth. His relentless pursuit of justice is juxtaposed against the cunning and often unscrupulous characters he encounters, who will stop at nothing to protect their own interests. Gardner uses Mason's interactions with these characters to explore themes of moral ambiguity, where the line between right and wrong is often blurred. Della Street, Mason's loyal secretary, plays a crucial role in the narrative, providing not just administrative support but also offering insightful observations that help Mason piece together the puzzle. Her presence adds depth to the story, showcasing the teamwork and trust that underpin Mason's successful practice. Paul Drake, the private investigator frequently employed by Mason, adds another layer of intrigue with his ability to gather crucial information that often serves as the key to unraveling the mystery. One of the strengths of Gardner's writing is his attention to legal procedures and courtroom drama. The courtroom scenes in The Case of the Black-Eyed Blonde are meticulously detailed, highlighting Mason's legal acumen as he outmaneuvers the prosecution. Gardner's own background as a lawyer is evident in the way he constructs these scenes, making them both believable and engaging. The tension in the courtroom is palpable, with Mason's brilliant cross-examinations often turning the tide in his favor at the last possible moment. The novel also delves into the psychology of its characters, particularly the titular blonde, Eva Martell. Gardner paints her as a complex figure, whose motivations and actions are not immediately clear. Her initial portrayal as a damsel in distress evolves as the story progresses, revealing layers of deception that keep the reader guessing. This evolution of her character is a testament to Gardner's skill in creating multifaceted individuals who defy simple categorization. Gardner's prose is efficient and focused, with little wasted on unnecessary description or exposition. This keeps the pace brisk and the plot tight, ensuring that the reader's attention never wanes. The dialogue is sharp and realistic, driving the narrative forward and revealing the character's personalities and intentions. The resolution of The Case of the Black-Eyed Blonde is both surprising and satisfying, with Mason once again proving why he is considered one of the greatest fictional lawyers of all time. The final twists in the plot not only bring the mystery to a close but also provide a commentary on the nature of truth and justice. Gardner leaves the reader with much to ponder about the lengths to which people will go to protect their secrets and the price of uncovering the truth. In conclusion, The Case of the Black-Eyed Blonde is a testament to Earl Stanley Gardner's mastery of the legal thriller genre. The novel combines a compelling plot with well-drawn characters and expertly crafted courtroom drama. Perry Mason's unwavering dedication to his clients and his brilliant legal mind are on full display, making this book a must-read for fans of the series and anyone who enjoys a good mystery. Gardner's ability to weave together legal intricacies, character development, and a suspenseful narrative ensures that this installment in the Perry Mason series remains a standout in the genre.